With your first news at 10 sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Now, St. Mary's and Bismarck entered tonight's boys basketball game with some similarities when you look at the WDA standings. They're both one and two in the league. They're both coming off their first conference victory and both won that game on Tuesday this week. The Saints and the Demons are at the Carl Guard Gym this evening, and it was the Demons that jumped out to a quick eight point lead. Penetration and pitch out to Grady Swanson, and that's good from three point distance. Midway through the half, Bismarck's Andre Austin from the wing driving down right down the lane, scoops it up one handed. It's still an eight point lead. Austin had 17 tonight. Here's the Saints Sam Fedorchek uh, breaking a double team over to Christian Benning and he will spot up from way out there. But Bismarck would win it by the final of 80 to 56. Elsewhere in the WDA, Mandan goes up to Williston and wins by four. Minot goes to Jamestown and wins by 30. It was Wilton Wing over Grant County Mont Regent. That was a 10-point victory. Faith the Longhorns beating Hedegar Scranton tonight. West Hope Newburgh a dime up of Belcourt. Botno drops North Prairie this evening in boys basketball. Standing Rock 60-57 over Garrison. And in Calm, it was EKM beating Maple River. Now let's check out the Saints and the Demons. This is in the girls contest. The Saints down in the second half, but closing the gap. Natalie Benning with a three-pointer, and that makes it a five-point contest. But Bismarck's Jersey Berg using a high screen right here, opening up a straightaway 17-footer. The Demons are on a little bit of a run at this point in the game. Then Bismarck goes to Berg again. This time she spots Morgan Johnson Colbert. That's a three-pointer for her. The Demons go up by 10, or go on to win by 10, I should say, 60 to 50 was your final. Earlier today in Dickinson, Trinity hosting DLB and Trinity's uh, uh, Navea Tormashi spinning into the lane and scoring that one on the left-handed side. Here's the Lakers, Kaylee uh, Werner going to Paige uh, Bernard and uh, she gets a left-hander to go up and in. DLB's offense continues to roll here. It's Logan Yistas underneath, scoring on a little back pedal there. Trinity, this game was tight the entire way. It's Katherine Schneider going to her right and get that little baby hook to roll in, and DLB would win it 46 to 45. Mandan made it a sweep in Williston, beating the Coyotes by 37. Minot goes to Jamestown, wins by 50, and it was Faith 61 to 43 over Hedinger Scranton. St. Mary's is hosting Watford City and Minot on the wrestling mat today. The Saints had the first and the last match, so first up is the Wolves. Let's take a look here, starting at the 127-pound match, and it's St. Mary's Colin Fleck working hard to try to put both shoulders of Rowdy Mott down, and he would end up doing that to give his team a six-point lead. Trailing 2-0 in the 133 match. It's a good sequence here for St. Mary's uh, Bennett uh, Grimm getting uh, the escape and then a double leg takedown. He went on to beat James Rasmussen uh, by a tech. And there's Taylor Hine for St. Mary's in control at 139. He takes care of Strand Sorensen as St. Mary's wins this one by the final of 60-17 to was your final score in that first match. Now let's find out how it went for the Saints and the Magicians in this one. As the third period comes to a close at 145, it's Joran Richter of St. Mary's taking down Evan Berg from Minot. Richter would eventually get a pin. Uh, no, he would uh, not get the pin. He'd win, though, uh, by a major 17-4. to Following at 152, John Richter, one of the highest rated wrestlers at his weight in the state, taking on Caden Kraft. Richter would win eventually by pin. And then here's Dejarius Jones of Minot picking up a victory here as his team would go on to win overall. The final score was 41 to 28. Minot uh, beat Watford City. That was the one that was sandwiched in there in wrestling. Dickinson over Sydney. And uh, Dickinson also beat Baker on the wrestling mat. And Dickinson's gymnastics team wins its invite. They also have the all-around winner. All right. Thanks, Lee.